What's up guys, welcome back to the channel for another GeForce Now News Thursday. We're gonna end out May with a couple of new releases for Steam that we'll go over. We've also got our June roadmap that we're gonna take a look at and some other pieces of news as well. And let's start off with the Logitech G Cloud, now available over in Europe and of course supporting GeForce Now along with other cloud and remote play. With its 69, 10, 80, 60 screen, this has been a perfect device for cloud gaming and remote play streaming. Battery life is excellent. I've been using it for quite a few months months and it works great with GeForce Now. So it's great that more people will be able to get a hold of that. As far as our two games go for this weekend, it is a bit of a light week. We've got two releases that are new for Steam. So System Shock being the first one for May 30th, the first person fight to the death in the depths of space. I'm seeing a lot of good reviews out there for this game, though I haven't tried it and I heard it can be pretty tough. There's a downloadable demo over on Steam and right now for launch the game's 40 bucks there. So might check that one out, but not too too sure but at least it is getting some decent reviews now our second game is a new release for steam as well for june 1st from team uh, 17 digital and this is killer frequency this is a first person horror adventure that puts you in the shoes of forrest nash a late night radio host whose callers are being stalked by a mysterious killer you gotta solve puzzles save lives and run the switchboards all while listening to a jukebox of retro 80s tunes honestly it doesn't sound too bad all right, so a short but sweet week there with a couple of releases. And back in May, above and beyond what was announced, we got six other titles as well. Five of those, or four of those rather, being the first Xbox titles with Gears 5, Deathloop, Grounded, and Pentiment. So that's great to see. And that happens often with GFN where we get more than announced, which is always welcome here. And speaking of announced games for the month, we do have the June roadmap of 19 more games I'll list out on the screen here for you. And of course, as always, we'll go over these closer every single week, but getting Rainbow Six Extraction from Ubisoft over on Steam, we've got all the Age of Empires, uh, Definitive Edition, two, three, four, all lined up right there, which are big ones for me in June to see hit the service and some other great games on the list. So we'll definitely be keeping an eye out all June to see what kind of games we get if we get some things above and beyond. I kind of think we're going to see some additional titles stuffed in there as well. June is kind of a packed month and gaming's looking pretty good. So hopefully GeForce Now can keep that rolling. I've loved seeing those first four titles from Xbox come over. I'm really excited to see the Age of Empires franchise all at once just coming over here to GFN. I can tell you for sure I'll be spending a bit of time there. I love these games and four is one that I've jumped back into more recently. So this was actually a surprise for me for June to see all these coming and pretty excited for that. And who knows, maybe we'll see some other Xbox games throughout June as well and some other surprises thrown in there. All right, guys, as always, thanks a lot for coming and check out the video. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one.